once upon a time, the end of the world was our beginning. Press the button to the floor with no name. Behind those doors is a life you always dreamt of. The plane, it's here. This weekend, you will be our guests. Here, anything and everything is possible. No service. It's not everything is possible. Good evening. I am Mr. Rurik. Let me officially welcome you to Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island! I'm curious how this all works. What if your fantasy involves a person from your life? Holograms, like Tupac. What if it's somebody who died? Tupac. So, what's your fantasy? Revenge on a childhood bully. Your life is about to change. I hope you're ready. That is a really good hologram. There is only one fantasy per guest. And you must see your fantasy through. It brought her back to life. No matter what. Oh my god. That's really her. Work. This is not what I meant. What the hell is this place? People die here. <laughs> the island's twisting what we asked for. We weren't brought here to have our own fantasies. I want it. I got it. I want it. We were brought here to be a part of something else. I got it. I want it. I got it. I'm your friend. I've always wanted to hear you say that. You're a man now. You go out there and show the world. I have myself an indentured servant. Ned Kelly is his name. Shoot him. Make a name for yourself. He was to teach you to kill a man. Nothing comes free in this world, son. Be who you are meant to be. You're not the man you pretend to be. You're a boy, looking for a captain to tell him what to do. You're a son of Steve. We're rebels, warriors. And you all wear dresses. Nothing scares a man like crazy. You boys want to build an army? Yeah! You're bloody bulletproof, boys! Why do you die for your mommy? Don't. Not now. Ellen, I sent me best. Fuck off. A man cannot change the past, nor outrun his destiny. You're a man now. You're my little man. I am called the coldest murderer on record. But others, knowing the truth, would call me a hero. Operation Abilene was one of the bloodiest battles of the Vietnam War. Everybody down! An entire company nearly wiped out. We are taking fire! Prayed for a miracle. One came. His name is Pitts. Pitts saved lives. We put him up for the Medal of Honor. But he never got the medal. Justice delayed is justice denied. 
The Medal of Honor is the highest recognition of military valor there is. You'll prepare a full decorations review. Mr. Pitzenbarger, sir. I'm from the Department of Defense. I'm here to learn about your son. If you want the real story, you'll need to talk to the mud soldiers. I've never seen lost men like that. Here's somebody who comes down that wire and saves men he never even knew. It sounds like a suicide mission. Suicide is hopeless. What Pitzenbarger did was valor. I kept telling him to get out, but he wouldn't go. He was there to save lives, and that's what he was doing. Why are you here? Because you're here. Now we shouldn't even have been there. None of us should. What are you saying? That's friendly fire. We we're fighting our own men. The after action report is missing. Who even thought up Operation Aveline in the first place? It's not a can of worms you want to open. Why not? Information was removed from the original review. You had no idea where you're starting. I have never seen you back off of anything. Usually we're judged by what we do. But what we don't do is what haunts us. I'm gonna go public with the story. Sounds a little dangerous. But it'll be great television. Getting that medal for Pitts for the men I lost might be the only decent thing I pull out of that war. Pitts and Barker's father, he's dying. Dying isn't harder than losing a child. Do what you can. Guys like Pitts and Barker do what they do for each other. Life for a life. I need to finish this. Praise as this young man to show us that the sacrifices of the fallen will never be forgotten. Thanks for coming in. What's going on? Josh, you pressured a student to reveal an intimate moment in front of an entire classroom. You really want me to say? Yes! We're writers! Embarrass yourselves. We're gonna need you to take some time off. You look so much better. She looks hot. Mom's cleaning out her apartment. It's very confusing. I'm gonna get rid of it. Grandma's still alive. I don't want to live anymore. I need my grandma. You're like my best friend. I want to be in heaven. All right, give me the pillow. Please. You're gonna be with Grandpa very soon. Here we go. It's yeah. us. What, what, what are you doing? Nothing. Uh, I was just fluffing the pillows. I want to talk about your gorgeous immigrant. <sighs> Well, I just wonder if we could be a little bit more intimate. If there's a way to incorporate just a little affection. I don't know about that. Okay, well, we're basically on the same page. Hello. Hey, Grandma. Everything okay? There's not much time. Wait, who's on the phone? Whose voice is this? It's me. It's me. Everything's a joke to you, isn't it? It's no wonder you're in trouble with your school. Think for a second, Josh. They wanted us to talk about making this a safe space. Could you stop recording me? Mm, why? I'd like to make this okay, a safe so like, space. Okay, so let's have a dialogue. How much battery do you have? Full. Great. That's not my mother. That's my freaking soulmate. I thought Dad was your soulmate. Shut up. <laughs> These kids at the jackpot when they got you was a grandma. You got an army of people who love you at your back. so far. This is a modified virus causing DNA transformations. I need your help, buddy. I don't know what I've become. I am your brother. Together we will find a cure for this. Go, go, go. The man you knew is gone. My people and I are not terrorists. And as much right to live as anyone else. Horrible as it will be, this war is also necessary. Blood Nation will prevail. The infection is spreading faster than any of us could have anticipated. Oh. We're 
killing this thing. I'm a doctor. I can help make you better. I need to feed. You join in with us. Or die alone. I arrived at Hypsilanti State Hospital, summer of 1959. I left teaching to begin an ambitious study of delusional patients. I would really like to help you, Joseph. Please address me as my proper name, Jesus Christ, the righteous one am I. I have three patients who believe they're Jesus Christ. It can be but only one son of God. Uh, that's my point. Address me by my righteous name, God to you. I want to put the three of them in a room and study their behavior. What do you think will happen? I don't have a clue. The reason I'm having these meetings is that can only be one Jesus. Only one God. One God, two re-rise hicks. I'm shaking off all of your negativity and all of your squelches, all of your squelching. We do not have false hollowed out gods in Great Britain. Did our father send a boy to do a man's job? <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off! Alan, please be careful. Is it possible to really understand someone else's delusion? There are limits you can't exceed. It's brave and important what you're doing. You decide if the gains outweigh the obvious risks. Gentlemen, I want one of you to lead each of the meetings. I think we should have a vote. I nominate Joseph. Go off him. Unanimous. Why do you want to work with power like schizophrenics? Because it's so lonely. By the grace of Jesus Christ, you are saved. Companionship, joy, hope. Will I be able to offer these men a means to find themselves? Lord to sound believe they must make human sacrifice. Waiting for you, detective. This town is cursed. That old Jack is just gonna keep coming back from the dead to seek his revenge until the curse is lifted. To the ban Halloween, it should be considered law in this town. Sign on. It's what time's the party tonight? Tells everyone seven, but come back half five and we'll get ready. Some people are trying to challenge our ruling, and it needs to be stamped out.
with all new faces. <laughs> Hello. Call me Sage. Good name. I'm made out of sage and I am a sage. So it works out pretty well. I'm Patrick. My name means toaster in Celtic. Pretty sure it doesn't. The most amazing places. The lost city of Atlantic City. Boy, I hope we don't lose focus. Look, I wouldn't worry about us losing. <laughs> Cotton candy. Ice cream. Zuros. And a hero. Let it ride, Patrick. Let it ride. You, you can bet on. Put it on L. Patrick, that's not an L, that's a seven. Seven starts with an L? Oh, that's weird. The SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run. This is gonna be like a buddy movie. Oh, I love your sense of irony, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> I love my sense of ironing, too. This film is not yet rated. Oh, I saw Jane two weeks ago at the rodeo. Look at me. Do I look like a queen? We may love our country. But we want something better for ourselves. I'm gonna be a rodeo queen this year. I'm gonna win that crown. I think something might have happened to her. Hey, Jane. Give me a call. I'm worried about you. Jane? She has long brown hair. Jane! Her back door was open. She's not a runaway. No, she's... She's missing. Do you know this woman? You best stop looking for your friend. She's the trouble. You ever see this girl? By Sarah? She's still missing. Have you seen Jane? Have you heard from Jane? Where do you think she was going? Someone like I say up by the mines. The desert it all has swollen you up. I got something that'll help you find Jane. You're lost, aren't you? There are two types of people in this world. Those who are lost and powerless. Jane? And those who have found their place. You can be part of something. The American dream has been taken away from us. You can have power. The American dream has been taken away from me. Look at this. All those years in the big city, we finally got out. We're living the dream. Maybe it is a dream. <laughs> then everything just blew up. Big flash, like a pink light. Or actually, I don't even know what color it was. It wasn't like any color I'd ever seen before. It looks like a meteorite. You think it's radioactive? I mean, it's from space, right? Meteorites are generally no more dangerous than ordinary rocks. How can something that big just disappear? Did you plant those? No. Ward, you come here for a sec. Oh, God. What are you doing? Shh. He's talking to me. Who's talking to you? A man in the well. It's in the static. It's in the moisture. It's in here. It's out there. And what's out there is in here now. Everything's under control. Why are you so in denial? That thing from the meteorite changes everything around it. It's just the color. Oh! But it burns. Can you believe me now? I don't know what I believe anymore. Ah!